Gentlemen, welcome back. You're back with MGTOW Money. Today's topic, 15-minute habits that'll get you to the rich lifestyle that you deserve. Before we get to that, though, let me specifically mention, this, of course, is MGTOW 2.0. This is the second wave of MGTOW. This is the next step. For those of you that are wrestling with my broken heart, my girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend, I don't know what I should do, I, I, I'm, I'm having a tough time understanding women. Gentlemen, this is probably... Probably not the channel for you if that fits your profile. Plenty of other channels available to you. This is an action channel, gentlemen. This is for MGTOW that are moving forward with their lives that eventually... At some point, hopefully, in the near future, want to achieve financial independence. And that's what this is all about. All right, before I get to today's topic, let me, of course, as always, thank the Patreon supporters of this channel. Gentlemen, I do sincerely appreciate your support. See the video description today of today's video. Consider becoming a Patreon supporter. Two, based upon the last video I did where I cautioned many of you about your interactions with women. Let me just reference you. Coincidentally, I happened to come across two articles that have been written in the past 10 days, specifically one titled, Whistling Considered Sexual Harassment Under Policy, Under University Policy. This was from the Tennessee State University, that now whistling may be considered sexual harassment. And as we continue on the subject of whistling, evidently there is a now a jihad against whistling. This is from a London newspaper. This is, again, within the past week, quote, wolf whistling or sex- sexist remarks could be considered hate crimes in London. Yes, gentlemen, you could be considered a hate criminal and charged with a crime in London based upon your quote-unquote sexist remarks. Nothing needs to be further said, gentlemen. Listen to my last video. Let's get on to today's topic, some 15-minute habits to get you to the rich life, of course, you want. Look, although maybe these may not be daily habits, habits, things that you're doing every single day, I would encourage you, 15 minutes, all of you can find just 15 minutes of time to do the things that you absolutely dread on a regular basis throughout the week. And if you do these things, I guarantee you, you just do it for 30 days, gentlemen, you'll be moving forward. So for example, one, review and track your finances. Where's your money going, gentlemen? Every morning, you should start doing just what I do. I literally, one of the first things I do in the morning, what came in, what's going out, what bills are coming up. Very simple. It doesn't even take 15 minutes. But I know where my money's going. I track it like a hawk, gentlemen. I micromanage it like my worst boss used to manage me. Furthermore, I'm always thinking about consistently throughout the day, hey, what small hustles could I do to pick up a few bucks here or there? You know, just simple, easy things. What things can I do when I'm sitting around in my underwear and doing nothing? Can I pick up a few dollars? There's a million ways to do so, gentlemen. I've done videos about it. I'm not going to go over this again. You know what I'm talking about. Two, what areas can I cut? What things can I turn into money? Man, I got so much crap around here. I'm always thinking about stuff that I can flip, flip on eBay, flip on Craigslist. There is stuff around you. Just look around you, gentlemen. You know you've got money. You're sitting on a freaking gold mine. Turn all that useless stuff, that stuff that's just sitting around into money. Take that money and turn it on to even turn it into even more money. All right, next. Look, when you see a rich person's home, especially portrayed on TV, what's something that that, that strikes you about it? Not only that it's large, but something that should also strike you about it, it's clean. Compare that to when you see a poor person's home. What do you typically see? It's a mess. It's disorganized. It's dirty. Again, generalizations, of course, but there's a lot of truth to this, gentlemen. Can you spend 15 minutes a day or even just 15 minutes a few times a week straightening up your stuff, discarding? all that crap that's just laying around. Like I said, if you can't sell it, then throw it out, man. What are you doing with all that crap? Look at your clothes closet, for example. You know 80% of those clothes you don't even wear. Throw them out, gentlemen. Get on with yourself. Look, 
The less stuff you have means the greater focus you can have. And the greater focus you can have means you can start focusing on more productive things a la making more money, investing your more money more wisely, and becoming financially independent at an early age. Three, What? how many push-ups, gentlemen, have you done today? How many sit-ups have you done today, gentlemen? Hey, did, did you take a walk around the block? What physical exercise have you done today, gentlemen? As I've emphasized before in previous videos, there is nothing more important than your health. I don't care how rich you are. I don't care if you're a MGTOW or you're married and have eight kids. Nothing is more important than your health, gentlemen. Let me give you the ideal MGTOW. The ideal MGTOW is a guy who has an income that he can rely on from multiple sources along with good health. Gentlemen, of course, I'm not talking about you have to be a bodybuilder. I'm talking about a man who's reasonably fit, who has enough income, passive income coming in from multiple sources to support his unique lifestyle. That gentleman is the peak. That's where you want to be. That's where you're separating the men from the boys. That's where you're going to be a man walking among men. Now, let me also mention something. I'm going to throw in a book here, a book recommendation. Yes, as always. I'll include a link to a book, The One Minute Workout. You heard me correctly, The One Minute Workout. It's written by a Canadian physiologist. He specifically recommends high intensity, high interval workouts, very short workouts that, guess what, are extremely effective and extremely efficient. 15 minutes a day, gentlemen, you can do this. All right, gentlemen, let's quickly sum up here. One, have you considered how easily, gentlemen, you can master your money? You can be in control of every single dollar, euro, rupee, whatever currency you're using. You can watch it. You can justify every single expense. And if you can't justify it, then cut it out. But the point being is that you're not thinking, gee, where did all my money go a week after getting paid? The point is, you know exactly where it's going. You know how much is coming in and how much is going out. Two, without your health, gentlemen, without that, you've got nothing. Y you're, you're, you're sunk, gentlemen. It's very easy. It costs nothing to improve your health, gentlemen. As a matter of fact, you ultimately can save money. Stop eating junk food. Stop eating all that candy and other crap and drinking soda, etc. Stay away from the pharmaceutical company. Stay out of the doctor's office. That is ultimately what's going to kill you. Probably the most dangerous place in the world, actually, gentlemen, is in a doctor's office and then take it a step further is in a hospital. Three, make your bed first. Yeah, I stole that slogan from a book I just read. It's a fantastic idea. Again, make your bed first. Keep your residence relatively straight and neat and organized. We're not looking for perfection here, gentlemen. Of course, it's the 80-20 rule. Can you get it to 80%? Can you get rid of some of the crap, some of the stuff that's piled up? Look, the less you have, the easier it is to be able to clean it up, to keep it straight, to keep it reasonably organized, to keep it at that 80% level where it's, quote, good enough, if you will. All right, gentlemen, hit the like button if you found this useful. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. John Galt, out.